Hey YouTube, this is probably going to be a little long video, but we'll see what we can do. I just got done running some some uh, steel wool to shine and everything up, getting it real clean. I'm kind of nitpicky when it comes to my own bikes, I'm really particular. Let's see over here, Let's see what we can do. First, I'm going to take them apart and show you guys my makeshift tube and why exactly I bought two new carburetors and my homemade idle adjustment. I believe these carburetors might actually be 600s. I don't remember if I guessed that because they had really big jets for a 500 in them, or if the guy told me, I can't remember. But for some reason, I was thinking these were 500 or 600s. So, actually, I found when I was taking it apart that I was missing a, the other screw right here for my throttle, for my cable holders. So, didn't even know it, but. After getting it apart, found out. There comes a bunch of gas out. The reason I bought two new bodies is because you'll notice right there there's nothing. And that one is this one. Should have that, but it doesn't. So that was my first reasoning. Second reasoning is is that little guy right there. New ones came with that little guy, the right one. So this is actually just a little flexible piece of pipe, little tube, but it worked. Worked for 72 miles down in Utah over the weekend. So, let's get these babies tore down. I didn't buy any new seals for these. I probably should have. We'll see if I can get away without doing that. And sorry for the sound of the rain. It just started to rain a little bit ago. I don't know if you can hear that on there or not, but the shop has a tin roof, and you can hear it pretty loud when it starts getting to rain heavy. Wonderful spring weather, making all my trails muddy. There you have the inside. It didn't come with any bowls or any of the innards. So, all this is up to me. I hate when I can't be lazy. I'm going to take the whole jet holder out all one time, but I don't know. Do that. Here, yeah, make it easy. So I got to check the jet out and then take the holder out. I just put new jets in this. I get it a touch richer. 
So that's a 135 main in the first carburetor. I think I have like a... I don't even know what I had in that other one. I do know that I twisted off the... the main in this carburetor, I think. I was out camping and my jet got a clogged. I took it out and it must have had a crack or a hairline crack or something in it because, I mean, I just barely put it in and it just twisted right off. Actually, this isn't the, this isn't uh, the main carburetor. This doesn't have the idle circuit in it. So, that's the secondary carb on the right side. Nice and clean. These bowls are not too clean. There's a little bit of gluck on the bottom. Not too bad. Finger tight. A little bit more 409. I'd be using that purple power cleaner I use, but this stuff is so hard on your hands. I think gloves are for sissies and it's really hard on my hands. I hate wearing gloves. Oh. Do the rest of this one. I guess. actually have two carburetors and then the two, well, four carburetors, two sets, and then the two new ones, the one set that I got today. It's still the same day. It's still Wednesday the 11th. I'm just out here. It's like 7.30, quarter, quarter after 7, something like that. Got the seal up perfectly. Presumably I can use either linkage off of either carburetor. I'm just going to take whichever one. Yeah, come on up there. Whichever one looks a little better. It doesn't really matter to me. I just want to make it look good and work good. That's what's important to me. I don't know if this screw is going to come out. I might use some other linkage. Yeah, that stuff looks cleaner anyway. See how slides look on this one before I get this one out. There's a core up there. Hope it's not really loud on my camera. I don't know. I haven't done much video out here when it's pouring down rain.
the other slide looks. Maybe there's a washer on the inside of that too. The slide has kind of a gouge in it. I'm not sure if I really like that. I think someone jammed it with a screwdriver or something. Uh, never easy. If it was easy, everybody do it. Alrighty. That means back to you. Oh man. Sucker didn't wait enough to waste enough time getting out of there. Check out the slide on this one. Yeah, that looks a little better. Has a little bit of wear on it, but nothing too bad. Gouges in it like that one. That gouge was actually would have been on the yeah, it would have been on the intake side. I think it was on the exhaust side of the car, I believe, for the motor. Guys, bar. I guess it's set right. It was already in that other car. I didn't want to mess with the height of the needle. There, with a fiber washer. Put that chunk of there. actually the cleaner linkage just with the slide out of the original, well, last used carburetor. All the bushing stayed in this one. Never hurt nobody. This baby moving. When in doubt, more lube. As Jamie Heineman says from the Mythbusters.
<laughs> I'm gonna get this part. This is a bigger one. Okay, I'm gonna find a bit of switcheroo. See it, I'm sure, from over there. But there's a little tiny metal. There you go. The camera's facing the right way. Little tiny metal. Find it. Uh, like collar with two little nylon bushings that go around it. And then your screw goes through the metal collar, and then the head of the screw actually tightens down on the clasp or the nylon. hesitant to buy these just because I was afraid that if I get them and none of my seals come out good or anything like that, that I'd be in just as bad a situation as I was prior. But I thought, what the hell. No guts, no glory. So far it seems to be doing alright.
on there. I thought it did. I think that actually kind of washed out. But I could be wrong. It's happened one time. <laughs> You can see the mark on there where the screw head was, it just was kind of big. Just the screw head. Like butter. Yes, to the top. Because I'm picky, I'm going to clean this. Inside and out. Not actually an accelerator pump in there, it's just a cover. There's only one accelerator pump on this side. I guess that's what you would call that.
Yeah. And with the uh microblade onto there too. Yeah. All the way down to the ground. Cleanliness and next to gasliness. Feels good. All right. Note. Noodle bell. All this stuff's been working just fine for me and it all looks fairly clean, so. Otherwise I'd be going through here and cleaning every little piece if I was actually taking this apart and just cleaning it and rejetting it or rebuilding it or whatever, you know, I'd be making sure every little piece is just perfectly clean. But whereas it's been running like this for past year that I've owned it, I don't really see the need. silicone gasket that's rated for being around fuel. I did put some on here and it seems to have held up, but there's still an O-ring in here. It's just kind of squashed. But we'll see. If it leaks, you'll find another video. More than likely, me tearing it back apart. We've got everything in there. I believe so. Bigger screws. They're bigger screws. But I was wrong. Two screws. Preferably good heads on them so you can find them. I got four carburetors with a spare screw, so if I can't find them, there's something wrong. That one needs to be a little longer. So is the other one. Come on out of there. Okay, that one. And that. That's a terrible bit. And if any of you guys just need a like a choke tube. I have two extra float bowls. If any of you guys can't find some of these parts, you know, message me or something and I can see what I can do for you. Because I know it was a pain in the ass to find these carburetors for a reasonable amount. I've seen multiple carburetors people are wanting more than of what I paid for my whole bike when I first bought it. I only paid two thirty for my bike when I bought it. It needed a lot of top end work, which I did all myself. Looking good. That's all for carburetor number one. Oh, and there's the little cover. Or, uh, overflow tube there, but because it has to go through your little assembly thing there, I'm going to wait to put it on. So, that's going to be it for part one. Got a mess of Honda carburetors. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it was so long, but I'm picky. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.